Hi, and welcome to Aussie Kicks. On today's show, well, we're going to be checking out a brand new release from Kyosho from their Legendary series. And if you've been watching the show for a while, you'll know that I'm a little bit of a sucker for these as they are absolutely not stunning looking. And it's this, the Le Mans 240 brushless motor that's just been released. And there's the 480 variant as well. Now, these have been released in line with the Phantom CRC2, which is coming out, should be here in the next week or so so this will probably end up going in that but i don't have it yet so i can't show you but today we're going to unbox this take a look at this beauty and then i'm going to show you some vintage ones that i've got that match up to show you where this came from as in the design influence from the old ones to the new ones is very obvious right let's take a look hit it charlie take a look at the Le Mans 240 Gold that's just been released by Kurosho. Now one little tip for you with motors condition is everything uh, even though a lot of people put some random junk on eBay and it's all damaged and used and rubbed and rusted and then they expect it to be £20 less than an absolute mint one with the box but uh, that's the craziness that we deal with at the moment. So one little tip is when you open your box for the first time leave this section open don't click it all the way back in again because uh next time you open it you have to pull it a little bit harder and before you know it what you end up with uh, 15 years down the line is you end up with a damaged box around the edges and you want to keep the boxes as neat as possible so leave them just a little bit ajar if you're leaving them on the shelf that way you can open and close them and it's not quite as stressful on them now packaging wise the box is gorgeous and then you get it inside this little foam pouch now you get your instructions and you also get this little sticker to put on the Kurosho ESC if you're running it um personally I don't I just keep them as they are but you can do if it's going to be permanently especially if you're going to put it in a shelf shelf queen of something a little bit special now let's just take it out as you can see these are just beautiful and they're right up my street yes I am a sucker for a vintage style motor but as you can see, really beautiful. The only thing I don't like is that you have the three cables across the front here. So when you solder them up, it's, you've got to be really careful that you don't damage the sticker. It would have been nice if they were on the back. But as you can see, ah, machining is gorgeous. And they are beautifully made motors. Do they justify the cost? I honestly don't know. That's something you've got to make up yourself. But uh, yeah, I, hmm, I fell into these and I don't recommend getting it into... Um, vintage show motors or any kind of vintage motors because they're just so stupidly priced at the moment so that's the 480 gold uh, sorry 240 gold that is um 37034 now it's 24,790 rpm at 7.4 volts it's a 3,350 kv um per volt and maximum current is 45 amps now i have got its brothers and sisters which are here the le mans 480t now the reason i have two I had a bit more money back then <laughs> is you could actually they did a strange thing where you could convert it so oh, so this is the 480t that was in that box again as you can see this styling it's all very retro even though it's brushed and it's beautifully made if anything this color is gorgeous it's nicer than the gold one to be honest now they did something a little bit strange with this one instead of selling them separately what they would do is they sold they sold it and when you bought it it actually came with the anodized casing so you could modify it as well as the sticker which is what i did so i changed it over and in my uh, phantom i'm running the uh, 480s version which is a really strange thing for him to do so if you see on the box here it says the mon 480t and then if you convert it, it becomes a 480S, which is like how they did it. I'll show you the original ones. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. They're just off camera here, which is a really weird way of doing it. But uh, 
there you go so you can get the styling to match the old one so it's really nice but for the gold they did two versions you can also buy the 21.5 turn which is 37035 version of it of course i went for the slightly hotter 13.5 turn version um i will try and get the other one but at the moment i'm getting something else that's a little bit difficult that you can't just get this hopefully and going by the availability of these they seem to be around for a while you can still buy those ones like a year or so later so i'll probably try and add it later on when i've got a little bit more funds Right, let me just show you some of the history of them. So it kind of goes back. It's really nice how their styling traveled all the way from the original one coming forward. So if I pick up a older motor, this is the 480T, which is basically, that's one end and that's the other, you see? So you can see where the styling crosses over and it's really cool. Now getting hold of mint ones of these, especially if you want boxes and you want instruction manuals and things like that uh, as well as you know getting all the little packaging never run that's that's what you really are after yeah granted it'd be nice to get one that doesn't have the damage but being it that box is probably as old as i am it's got to be i don't know how old these are got to be 20 something years old to get in this condition never run is the key but they've become so difficult to get then they they updated the styling on them and then you get these ones now i don't have these new in box these have been run but they are in great condition but again you can see you've got the 480s 480t and then the hotter 240s which tends to be the red one so again they kept that styling and they are gorgeous again you can see that the anodizing on them uh, it's a plastic bell housing but uh, still absolutely beautiful but really hard to get hold of then um, they do a few like off spin kind of versions of it. I mean, I'm no uh, Le Mans expert, but then you can get super stock 30s again. These are still asking big money. There's a 20 and a 34, um, but to get them in lovely condition is really tricky these days. And you've got the, <laughs> the slowest motor in the world, the 600E, <laughs> Le Mans 600E. So yeah, not uh, super fast, but nice to have one. This is as good as I can get at the moment. Then they do their kind of aeroplane range. And this is something I would definitely recommend if you're looking to get into some of these, especially if you want to run them. Because if you get, the look, that's in a Le Mans 360 gold, and that's its equivalent and the ap is basically the aeroplane version but to all intents and purposes there's not much difference in them if you look at the specifications so you can match them up to be and they're a lot cheaper to buy so if you're going to run them you know it's definitely worth looking at getting some of the ap motors but people have kind of cottoned on a little bit now and these have become quite desirable to collect, but you still don't pay the premium that you do for the Le Mans. Um, so I picked them up. A lot of them I picked up randomly as parts of job lots and stuff like that. So uh, I still like them. They're really nice. They're really pretty. So I don't mind. I'm happy to have the APs, but obviously not everybody is. Then you've got the more modern stuff. Again, here's a, a modern brushed. 490 Le Mans. Still comes in a nice box and the, the actual quality is there. You know, it's, it does feel like a premium product. This isn't an expensive motor. Um, and then the styling you can see, and then you get something a little bit more rare, a 240 SB. I love this. And it's in mint condition, never run, so super chuffed to have that. And then you've got the um, more modern stuff. That is the hottest one. That is the red version. That is actually in my uh, Corosho Mid at the moment. But uh, yeah, so I'm always torn between running them in the cars as I want to run them and then keeping them on the shelf looking all pretty. But uh, yeah, I, I try to look after them as best I can if they're in the cars and try to put them in cars where they're less likely to get scratched and damaged. But uh, I love running my 480S in my um, Phantom. That is, an, it's it's right on the perfect level of power and torque for a little car. Yes, you could put the 240S or you could put the 240 Gold in it and then it would be even faster. But for me, going around the track when I was at Force Raceway was epic. So there you go. That's just a quick look at some beautiful motors. Yes, it is a bit of a silly thing to get into. But uh, once you get hooked, there you go.